think we're so lucky here in Lethbridge County, you know, we're, we get to live a, a rural lifestyle, but at the same time we're so close to Lethbridge, we're so close to Coldell, the small urbans, um, so it's a really nice blend. This is my uh, second term on council. First term is, uh, first year is Reeve. I am a uh, lifelong resident of Lethbridge County. I wanted to give back to the community, I wanted to be a part of something, and politics and municipal government had always been something that I'd had interest in relationships, collaboration, uh, region, uh, prosperity, those are, those are the pillars uh, within our strategic plan. And with that, we put a real emphasis on, on trying to be more collaborative, trying to work with our partners, with our neighbours, um, trying to find solutions that work for the whole region as a whole. As the Reeve, I, I hope that you know, I can represent uh, Council to the best of my abilities, you know, bring some new ideas forward. Um, you know, speak with a new voice and, and try and be clear in our expectations that we as council, you know, we set the bar high and we want to try and achieve our goals and, and work towards, um, you know, the greater good of the entire county. We have a fantastic team at Lethbridge County. We've worked really hard together to be innovative and creative and I think we're so fortunate as an organization that we're not overly large and overly bureaucratic. We're small enough where we can work together, the senior leadership team, taking council's ideas and visions and implementing them and we try every different thing. The team is always thinking and it's so exciting of an environment to work in that. Everybody's creating, everybody's innovative, even with public engagement. The McNally School was actually built in 1946 and in 1947 they had the first classes here. The community association uh, actually uh, bought the school from the Palliser School District. The community members actually were wonderful in, in saying yes, they would pick it up and turn it into some sort of community association. It was time to look at how to uh, rebuild the, the building into and bring it into a new life. Artists were invited in and the whole building is full now. We have every classroom with a, an artist. Uh, we have our artists here, we have our glass people, we have um, people coming in and having celebrations of life in the hall, we have weddings here. Um, it's just be becoming again to be kind of a heart of the, of the community. I think Lethbridge's location, uh, Lethbridge County's location, um, I don't know how you beat that to be quite honest. You know, we're so fortunate. We have, uh, you know, we have irrigation, we have plentiful uh, sunlight hours, we're close to the American border, we're close to Calgary, we're close to the mountains. So you really check so many boxes. You, you have these, uh, a large urban center like Lethbridge in the middle of our municipality and the small urbans that offer so many great opportunities for our youth, um, for families, uh, jobs. And then you have those recreational opportunities as well. We have you know, multiple golf courses, we have uh, reservoirs, we're so close to the mountains. Um, we really have everything here. People love Lethbridge County because the weather is phenomenal. <laughs> we're open to agricultural business and we understand agricultural business. We also are so fortunate to have the city of Lethbridge here with two Lethbridge College, University, two post-secondaries that we partner with, that we work with, that we can draw our workforce from. And that is a big draw for Lethbridge County. The county itself, government, is open to assist and help. So this is a really ideal local location for agri-food, agri-food production, and it's probably the best place in Canada to be if you're an agri-food producer. I, the opportunity for agricultural growth is enormous and for the development of business related to that is tremendous. Lethbridge County is home to the largest confined feeding operation in all of Canada. Over 60% of all the feeder cattle in Canada are in Lethbridge County. Uh, Lethbridge County has the largest GDP of all um, municipalities in Alberta, rural municipalities. We have a little over $2 billion a year in uh, gross domestic and uh, that's mostly due to the, uh, the intensive livestock operations and of course the potato business has brought a lot of money to the table. Uh, I, I think the biggest attraction to anybody moving to, to Lethbridge County is uh, your ability to have uh, peace and quiet 
and freedom, I'll say. Lethbridge County, it's, it's constantly changing. I think every day something's happening. That's the exciting part, is that we're, we're big enough and we're diverse enough that there's always something happening, always something changing in the county. Um, new businesses are coming, uh, existing businesses are expanding, always people moving in and out. So I, I think it's, it's really interesting just to, to kind of sit back and watch what's happening. We're, every day is something new, I, I honestly think.